Adjourn, Ms Chain. Thank you very much, Madam Acting Speaker. It's National Science Week, and while I can't name all the scientists in the ACT, I did want to put on the record a number of people in the Canberra community I've got to know over the last little while who are making extraordinary contributions in quite different ways. The first is Stuart Harris, who I've spoken about in this chamber before. Stuart is a Belconnen local, and he's a citizen scientist whose discovery of a new species of spider at Barumba Rocks, the Maratus harrisi, is well documented in the outstanding and award-winning short film Maratus. Maratus is available for free viewing for a short time on ABC iView to coincide with National Science Week. And I encourage everyone to check out his amazing story. And Stuart has since discovered many more species of spider. I'd also like to acknowledge Michael Sidonio, a name well known to many of us here for the excellent support he provides to all members. Michael too, I think, could be described as a citizen scientist. Recently, Michael took a very nice photograph of a large, famous galaxy called, I believe, NGC 253, and in doing so, his photo inadvertently had in it a small smudge, and that small smudge turned out to be an undiscovered galaxy. So quite amazing that we've got someone who discovered a galaxy walking among us every day. Francesca McLean is a name well known to many of us and someone else I've spoken about here before. Francesca is the co-founder of ANU 5050 and the 2017 Young Canberra Woman of the Year. Last week, Francesca and her team hosted a 50-50 Big Ideas Breakfast, focusing on what governments, businesses and universities need to do to reach gender equity in STEM by 2025. The breakfast had participants commit to action items in 20 hours, 20 days, 20 weeks and by 2020, and the organisers will be holding all of the participants to account. I look forward to the results. Dr Anne-Sophie Dealen is a molecular biologist and biochemist, founder of the League of Remarkable Women in Science and, among her many amazing achievements, the chair of the ACT National Science Week Organisation Committee. I've attended two events this week already, with a third to come, and I commend Anne-Sophie's fantastic organisation and the way in which she has been able to foster enthusiasm and engagement with the many wonderful science opportunities we have here in the ACT. And finally, Madam Acting Speaker, there's Nicholas Husek, who was the runner-up recently in the International Association for Official Statistics Prize for Young Statisticians. Nicholas is another Belconnen local who conducted research into how freight companies' telematics data can be turned into official statistics to inform infrastructure planning and investment. It's clear that this has real relevance in a country like Australia. This is an excellent result in a worldwide competition with research that has the potential to change the way large infrastructure projects around Australia are planned and executed. As I said, Madam Acting Speaker, these are just a few of the incredible contributors to science in the ACT, and I look forward to talking about many more during my time in this place. Happy National Science Week. The question is the Assembly do now adjourn.